Azimio affiliate Jubilee Party has to do a rub shoulders with the Independent Electoral and Bond Risk Commission IBC over the recent nominations of MPs, senators and members of county assemblies. Jubilee alleging it was short change in the Senate by being awarded a single nominated senator by the name of former Wasingishu woman Rep. Margaret Kamar instead of two positions. In the Senate, one of our slots was taken away from us and we have not given up, we'll fight for it. Jubilee Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni also claimed their slots in various county assemblies were awarded to their competitor UDA, now threatening to go to court to challenge the nomination process. If it means uh, going to court, we will go to court because it was taken from us and given to one of the uh, parties in the opposition or in the, our, our opponents. Is an, Saburu is another case uh, at, in point where we have seven MCAs elected on Jubilee. We were given six nomination slots. UDA has have five Members of the county assembly elected on their ticket, they were given five nomination slots. So these are examples of... Uh... However, IBC has refuted the claims on lack of merit, saying due process was followed and that the nominated leaders were correctly picked from the list forwarded by the political parties. In allocating the nomination slots, IBC says it applied the formula developed under Regulation 56.2 of the Elections Regulation, which alludes in a quote, the formula for location of seats to the respective political parties from party list shall be number of seats won by the political party divided by the total number of seats multiplied by available seats for location in the respective house. End of quote. IBC adding in a quote, the Constitution and the Elections Act, the party list remained a closed list as at the date of the general election and for the term of parliament or county assembly, as the case may be, for which the candidates are elected and cannot be changed unless through a court order. End of quote. Jubilee Party has also affirmed the Royal Odinga's Azimu will form majority side in the National Assembly, whereas William Ruto's faction has also claimed UDA is the majority party. We are the majority party. We are the ones with the highest number of members of parliament at the National Assembly. And we expect them, we expect the speaker and in the leadership of the whole house to allow us to play the law that we should play as the majority party in parliament. What does that mean? that the chairmanship of the committees should go to the majority, the majority leader and the majority whip should come to Azimio. So we will be retreating to agree on who will be coming the majority leader, deputy majority leader, chief whip, uh, deputy chief whip, uh, chairman and vice chairman of committees and the constitution of those committees. Uh, because as it is part of the law, uh, it is the leader of majority who brings the government business in the in the National Assembly. Azimio Coalition has called for a retreat for its lawmakers tomorrow in Machakos to deliberate on house leadership as Kenya Kwanza also retreats to Naivasha for two days beginning tomorrow to select lawmakers to occupy various positions in parliament. Give us in minor K24, Nairobi.